Hi everyone, it's Janine, and today we have a medley of your top yoga shoulder dynamic stretching sequences. And then we will announce the winner of your favorite yoga shoulder dynamic stretching video as voted by you. Let's get started. Bring your arms back energetically, draw the shoulder blades on the back, using those strong muscles. Inhale forward and exhale back. Keep going. And back. And back. Lower your arms. Let's come to lying on our backs. From the V, you're gonna go to a T, and then bend your arms at the elbows for like a scarecrow. And then straighten arms into the T, go down to the V. And then up to the T. And so this is sort of like a W, T, V, upside down. Inhale up and exhale down. So feel the flow. And then all the way down. This time, come up. Bend your arms into the W, and then from here, go into a V, which means your palms are going to come towards each other as you straighten your arms overhead and out to the side, and then back to the W. So keep going, inhaling, stretching up, exhaling, coming back to that W, but you're going to notice that now you've got to work harder maybe to keep your spine in neutral. Make sure that your ribs aren't just flaring as soon as you get your arms overhead. You do not want to do this. You want to pull those low ribs in and down as you bring the arms out to the V and back. And one more. Now go out to the V, palms face towards each other. So your arms, upper arms may be on the ground, off the ground. It depends on your flexibility. From here, draw your arms in towards each other by your ears, whatever degree works for you without your spine pulling off the floor and getting yourself all. You're going to lie down on your bellies with your arms by your sides, and I'll give you options if you want to just make this about the arms and no back work. Palms are going to be face up. Turn the leg bones in, inhaling the arms behind you. Exhale, float them in the air. So this whole time, they don't touch the floor. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Feel the shoulder blades gently moving a little more onto the spine. Inhale. Exhale. You want this a little more challenging, you lift higher. Inhale and exhale, but we'll lift with the heart and not with the neck. The neck has a lot of move mobility. It gives you the impression you've lifted up when you haven't. Get yourself up. Grab a strap. In your hands in front of you, maybe super wide if you're tight or closer together if you're not as tight. That's the leg. Inhale, arms overhead. So for this one, C. Just play. You're either going to keep your arms really wide and just focus on bringing 
for example, on this front, you're going to bring your left arm close to the left ear. And then that right arm is going to help you by pulling to the side and back. And maybe that's all you do. All. That's a lot. If you want to go a little bit deeper, then see if you could walk the hands closer. The right hand can come a little closer. And you're here reaching, straightening the back, the right arm back. Yeah. Bending the left elbow now. Swing it in and in towards, e towards the left ear and reaching down with your right arm to get a nice little stretch. And then keeping that right shoulder back. And then inhale, come up and exhale other side. Back like straight arm or bend, narrower, and draw back. And you can keep making that strap narrower and narrower until you clasp your hands behind for a full go makasana arm. One more each side, just like that. Either arm stays straight or it bends, whichever you've decided. Pull down. And other side. Oops. And over to the other side. Bend or not. You're going to go into another sequence. Nice. Hands and knees. Solid base with for, for your hands here. Knees are going to be underneath your hip bones unless you want it harder. And we're going to do alphabet arm. Bring your left arm by your side. And palm is going to face up towards the sky. And you're just simply going to pulse this. Inhale, lift the arm behind you. Exhale, bring it back to center. And you'll notice you'll want to shift on your hips. You're going to want to keep bring your hips back. So you're keeping everything still except this arm. And now bring your left arm out to the side into a T. Same thing. Pull those abs in. Lift and lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale, stick with it. You're going great. Now you can always keep the arm bent at this point if you like or reach it up into a V and up, down, palm, thumb uh, is pointing up, inhale up, exhale down, up, one more, up, but you're still here, one more set. Bring your arm all the way overhead. If you can, if this doesn't work, go back to one or the other so you're still with us. And you lift and lower. The palm is facing in towards the body. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Set it down and reach your right arm by your hip. Palm faces up. Inhale, lift the arm up. Exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale, exhale. Feel how strong the abs are, keeping those hips still, keeping everything still. And inhale, exhale back to center. Now bring your arm out to the side, thumb up to the sky. Keep pushing the floor away strongly with your left hand, left arm. And inhale up, exhale down. Shoulders reach gently away from your ears. Inhale, and you're not gazing down, gaze on the floor, down, inhale up, exhale down, a little in front of you, bring your arm into either the V or the bent arm, inhale up, exhale down, so you're keeping the neck nice and long, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more on this side, exhale, and then bring it into the eye. Inhale and exhale. Keep gazing about three feet in front of you on the floor. Inhale, exhale, one more. Inhale and exhale and set it down. Single arm extension so you get that action going. Either sitting, you lift up or on hands and knees and down. Two, 
and three and four and five. So you're feeling the back body working. You're not just winging your arm, whatever. Instead, left arm lifts up and down. Use your breath. Inhale to lift. Wrap the shoulder blade on your back and down. You've done this before, so you can get a little more specific. Up and down and four and down and then five and down. And the winner for our yoga dynamic stretching videos for the shoulder is rotator cuff strengthening. Thank you to everyone who voted. And we will have more yoga dynamic stretching sequences soon. Thank you so much for joining me and sharing your yoga practice with all the rest of us today. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Namaste.